What I want to demonstrate for you in this video is how to find the mean seasonal variations and also how to find an average for a mean seasonal variation and how to use that to predict what will happen in the future. So there's three things that I want to go over. All of those three things are mentioned here. So find an estimate for the mean seasonal variation. So for that, I will need to find the seasonal variation. And this is also called the average seasonal effect. And I'm going to do that for quarter one. So quarter one. Quarter one is here, and quarter one is also here. And I'm going to use it to predict the number of people that will visit the cinema in quarter one of year four. Quarter one of year four is here, and I want to make a prediction for quarter one of year four. So this is cinema attendance, number of people in hundreds, and I've got information for three years, and th uh, the information has been separated into four seasons like that. So first thing I need to do is I need to find the seasonal variations, or I need to estimate the seasonal variations. The reason why it's an estimate is because I'm going to use a uh, trend line here, and this trend line is, is me drawing this using the uh, moving averages, and any time you use a graph like this, you are always estimating. So I'm going to find the seasonal variation for year one, quarter one. So I'm going to write that down. So year one and this is also quarter one. So to find the mean, uh, to find the mean seasonal variations, I need to find the uh, seasonal variation for quarter one for each of these years, okay? And this is actually this space here, okay? So it's the difference. But because I can see that this cross here is below the trend line, I know that my variation should be a negative number, okay? So it's going to be this value subtracted and subtract from that the value of the trend line. So the value of the trend line I can see here is approximately 80. This is 40, so it's going to be 40 take away 80. So uh, seasonal variation for year one, quarter one, is 40 take away 80. Okay, and that's going to give me negative 40. Next one, so now I want to look at year two. So year two and season one. So here I can see that this value here looks like it's approximately 45. And this one here looks like it's approximately um, 87. So 45 take away 87. So year two, quarter one, is 45 take away 87. Okay, and 45 take away 87 would be uh, for, uh, negative 42. Okay, so negative 42. And one more, we need to do year three and quarter one. And this one will be, so let's see, so the value for year three, quarter one here is here, and that looks like 55. And the value of the trend line looks like it is 94. So 55 take away 94. So 55 take away 94. Okay, and that's going to be negative 39. Okay, so now that I have these seasonal variations for the different years, I'm going to now find the mean for these seasonal variations. Okay, so I'm going to add them up and divide by 3. So that would be negative 40, add negative 42, add negative 39, and I'm going to divide that by 3. Okay, so I'm just going to do that on my calculator. Okay, so the value that I get for this is negative 40 and a third, so 0.33. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this mean seasonal variation or average seasonal effect to predict the number of people that will visit the cinema in quarter one of year four. Now, if you look at my trend line, I go up to here um, on, the, on the left side, but I've extended it on this side because I want to make a prediction. Okay, so I want to make a prediction. Now, to make this prediction, what I do is I look at the trend line value at quarter one of year four. Okay, so that's over here, and that's um, 101. And I'm going to add to that this average seasonal effect or mean seasonal variation that I have here. Okay, so the an to answer this question now, I need to take 101. Now, this 101 is the value of the trend line at quarter one of year four, and, I'm, and I need to add to that this 
mean seasonal variation that I have here. Okay, so add negative 40.33. Okay. And that will give me 59. 59 and two thirds, so 59.67. Okay. Now, if I was to plot this now on the graph, so I am expecting in year one of um, uh, year one of sorry year quarter one of year four, I am expecting the value to be 59.67 number of people uh, in hundreds. So this is 5,967 people I am expecting to attend the cinema in quarter one of year four. Okay, so how many people do I expect? It will be 59.67 times by 100. Again, I'm timesing by 100 because it says number of people in hundreds, and that value will be approximately 5,967 people. Okay, and if I was to plot that somewhere here, you can see 59, uh, sorry, 5,967, would be plotted as 59.67, okay, and that would be approximately here, where the red dot is there. Here's a question for you to do. So I've given you a time series graph here. So this is information about number of visitors in thousands from Europe to the UK. It's a four-point moving average plotted here, and a trend line has been drawn. You can see that the trend line has been increased uh, on this side, so made it, made it a little bit longer. Now, what you need to do is find an estimate for the mean seasonal variation for quarter two and use it to predict the number of visitors from Europe to the UK in quarter two of 2008. Now, I'm going to zoom into this graph here, okay, and then I'm going to stop the video there.